Welcome to the first episode in our How to Choose a Charger series. We're covering price today, and although there are other factors that will influence your decision, most people will have a price point that they're happy with, or at least a limit that they don't want to go beyond. For this reason, we sell and install a range of chargers to suit different budgets, starting from around 400 pounds. Although it's important to note that the website prices are a guide only and are just there to give you an indication of price so you know which charges are more expensive than others. The prices on the website do include the cost of the charger itself, what we call a typical installation, and they include the OLEV grant. And bear in mind that that OLEV grant from the government, the value can change at any time, so obviously the prices will reflect that. If you aren't eligible for the government OLEV grant, then that does mean you will need to cover the difference yourself. To find out more, click in the banner up here to look at a video about the OLEV grant, but keep in mind the value may change. And you can also find a link in the description below to one of our guides on the website, all about the OLEV grant, the requirements, and whether you are eligible or not. In terms of charger price, well, if it's low cost and simplicity you're looking for, then go no further than the Project EV EVA07S. And yes, they need to come up with a better name. It's our cheapest charger available, and it comes as an untethered device. Don't worry, I will explain the difference between tethered and untethered chargers in another video. Or, for a modest price increase, you can get a significant upgrade with the Omi Intelligent Wall Charger. We're big fans of this charger in the office. It's got a really sophisticated piece of software. The app is really easy to use. And because it will sync with your energy tariff, the Omi will automatically choose the cheapest times to charge your vehicle. For example, if you have an off-peak rate overnight. So it's well worth checking out. We also sell more premium products such as the Anderson A2 or the Wallbox Copper C. Both have fantastic designs as well as a number of advanced features. And of course, we have everything in between the low end and the top end. Don't forget, the OLEV grant contributes a significant sum, at the time of recording anyway, to the cost of your charger and the installation. So it's well worth using if you can. In addition, we will need to quote you for your own installation. As I said earlier, the prices on the website are a guide, so we will need you to complete your own online site survey first. You can do this by simply clicking request a quote on your chosen charger on the website. We will send you a link to your own online site survey. You complete that and we will give you an accurate and honest quote upfront, no obligation, and there's no payment before you've made any decision. We also have offers on different chargers from time to time, so subscribe to our newsletter to make sure you don't miss out on any discounts or special deals in the future. I hope that's been helpful. In the next episode, we look at whether you should choose a tethered or an untethered charger, so stick around for more detail on that. And as I said before, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes in this series. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below and leave a comment if you've got any questions as well. It really helps us out. Otherwise, see you next time.